Anytime you are going to God as a wise man, you will learn nothing. Because pride will not allow you to enter into the secret place. Jesus loves and says, what you have hidden from learned, you reveal to those who are unlearned. There's something about Jesus Christ. There is something about you, God, I want you to understand. It doesn't matter your academic qualification. It doesn't matter where you are. From the moment you begin to realize that Christ is in you, your life will never remain the same. The Bible says in Colossians 1.27, where we just read now, that one thing I want to reveal to everybody, the whole world, is that Christ is in you. If Christ is in you, you share in his glory. You share in his glory. As ministers of God, I am not speaking like a book. I am speaking as someone that sent me. If somebody send you now, uh, uh, if I send you to go and represent me in a meeting, if I send you a marker as example, go and represent me to one meeting. If you go there, you are not speaking on account of Amaka. You are you will be speaking on account of I who send you. The same thing is how we are. I want you to know that we are heavenly citizens. In these last days, you must manifest the power of God. In these last days, you must acknowledge that Christ is in you. This is the secret that the world don't know. And because Christ is in you, according to Colossians 1 27 and according to Psalm 25, 14 and 15, the secret of the Lord, according to Matthew 11 25, the secret of the Lord. The secret of the Lord is his presence in your life. The learned don't understand it. They think that everything is uh, normal. But when they, when they meet you, they will understand that there is something special in you. The apostles, we are speaking in tongues after the Pentecost. The learned said, we know this man. They are men of no education. Why are they speaking our language? That is the secret of the Lord. As of apostle, after the Pentecost, when they were blowing in tongues, when they were teaching, the Bible said Peter preached the first sermon three times some people followed him. All the teachers of the law, all the preachers and high priests, they were surprised. Why is the apostles manifesting this way? Why are they blowing this tissue? He says, are they drunk? Are they drunk? And Peter says, is that not nine o'clock in the morning? These people are not drunk. The teachers, the law, the priests and high priests could not believe this. They could not believe it. And they say, are they not men of no education? Why are they speaking in our language? Why are they speaking in different languages? That is the secret of the Lord. When you close to God, he says, the secret of God is not with those that go to club. The secret of God is not with them, them that uh, live and how. The secret of the Lord is with them that do what knows him. That is why the Bible says in Psalm 91, those who are dwelleth, those who are dwelleth, not everybody, those who are dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, they shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Oh, you know, madam, so, now he says here, you cannot perceive the someone's mouth order if you don't go very close to that person. Those who are dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, they shall abide under under the shadow of the Most High. You can be a high priest, but you are not dwelling in the secret place. You can be a priest for 40 years, but you have never encountered the secret place of the Lord. You can be an evangelist for 50 years without encountering the secret place of the Most High. You can be a prophet for 20 years without encountering the secret place of the Most High. Any day you dwell it, he said those who are dwelling in the secret of the Most High, they are the ones that shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The secret of the Lord is with them that knows him. When you are dwelling in that secret place, <laughs> when you begin to dwell in that secret place, you will begin to understand what others don't understand. You will begin to encounter the grace others don't about. You can lay hand on the sick and the sick shall recover. And the high priest and the chief priest who have never dwelled in that secret place will be jealous of you. You can even preach to... 20 people, they will give their life to Christ immediately. But the high priest will preach for one year and he's still seeing 10 people and they will be jealous of you. The difference is that you are dwelling in that secret place and they are not dwelling there. You are inside, you are inside. You are so close. You have enveloped with his presence. This is why Jesus laughed. In Matthew eleven twenty five. 25, he said, Father, thank you. What you have denied the learned, you reveal it to unlearned people. Because of what? Those unlearned entered into the secret place. Those wise ones could not enter the secret place. But those ones, the fishermen, look at the apostles. They are ordinary fishermen, ordinary people, fishermen, task collectors. But when Jesus called them, they allowed themselves to enter into the secret place. And that is why they started working miracle Because they have already tested the secret part of God. But the wise are in the synagogue. With the wise are wearing one big suit with one big tie. They blow big grammar. 
but they have never tested the secret place of the Most High. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Am I teaching or am I preaching? You are teaching, sir. I want to let somebody know something. You cannot know Jesus except you begin to go close to him very well. <sighs> except you empty yourself. Say, Father, feel me. Anytime you are going to God as a wise man, you will learn nothing because pride will not allow you to enter into the secret place. You will go with a broken heart. Just imagine how many rich men did Jesus use? Check those he picked. They are very humble. And he raised them up. Out of the apostles, it's only Paul that is well influential. Those who are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. They are the one that can read Bible. As, as they want to stop reading, something we hear them keep reading. As they want to stop, the hunger to read will come. Those who are dwelling in the secret place, you see them being happy. You see them having joy of the Lord. You see them having the peace of mind. Those who are dwelling in the secret place, they feel what others cannot feel. They feel his presence because Bible says in his presence, that is fullness of joy. Micah 1 verse 3, in his presence, I your melt like what? Nahum chapter 1 verse 4 and 5, in his presence, even mountains collapse in his presence moses pray lord if you can your presence cannot go with us do not allow us to leave this place no wonder psalm 51 david pray cast me not away from thy presence those who are dwelling in the secret place they are the one that enjoy the divine presence of god and when as a child of god when you begin to enjoy his presence you can lay hand on the sick and the sick take over you can move and your shadow can meet somebody and be healed your hanky can easily touch somebody and there will be deliverance because you're already dwelling in the secret place you are inside you are broken you are totally broken for him to feel you in that secret place your life will not remain the same you cannot live anyhow life what sweet the world is not what will sweet you what people consider to be fun is nonsense to you what you will think is how will i do his will how will i do his will that is the kind of people the bible says in Romans 8 verse 11 that if that spirit that raised jesus from dead lives in you he who raised christ will quicken your mortal body he says, what he has denied the learned, he revealed to unlearned. When that spirit comes, you will become a spirit filled child. You will become a heavenly citizen, a heavenly candidate. That is the level that anyone that touched you will be in trouble because that is a mandate concerning your life. Those who are dwelling in the secret place, they are the one that have this message touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm because they are the one dwelling in the presence, in divine presence, in the secret place. There are something you are, others are not. There are something you are others are not that is why st paul says even though we are in the world but we are not of the world even though we walk by flesh but we don't walk by flesh for the weapon of our warfare are not canal they are mighty through god pulling down every stronghold yeah. am i speaking to somebody tonight yes, sir. the secret is that christ is in you because Christ is in you, you will manifest his glory. Amen. First Peter 2 verse 9, the Bible says, he has called us out of darkness, out of immoral life, out of hatred, out of wickedness. He has called us out of darkness, out of darkness of the past. He has called us out of darkness of masturbation, out of darkness of lesbianism, out of darkness of homosexual. He has called us out of darkness into his wonderful light. The Bible says he has called us into this wonderful light in order to manifest the purpose, the purpose of the one who called us out of darkness. If Christ is in you, according to Colossians 1.27, you are to manifest his purpose. You are to behave like Jesus Christ. You are to behave like a true ambassador. You cannot behave anyhow because you are ambassador of heaven. According to 2 Corinthians 5 verse 20. And from today, if Christ lives in you, everything about you will change. No wonder. Galatians 2 verse 19. Paul will pray and say, let no man trouble me anymore. I am crucified with Christ. I am already dead with Christ. And the life I live now, no longer I who live, but Christ living in me. Jesus living in me. That is what Paul says in Galatians 2 verse 19 20. He says, I am already crucified. When you are crucified with God, I am no longer the one who live, but Christ living in me. For Christ Christ in me is the king of glory. What he denied the learned, he revealed to unlearned. That is the power of God unto salvation. That is something peculiar because the spirit of God in the love of a man is something more than God. There are something in you you must cherish so much. When somebody says, what can you lay a hand on? Uh, some people can say, oh, I, I have my car. I have money. All these things you have is additional thing. The most important thing we have is Christ in us, which is the king of glory. That is the most important thing. Car, building, woman, children, husband, these are additional things. The most important thing is that you have Christ in you. 
And that is the king of glory. That is the secret of the Lord. Christ in you is one of the secrets of the Lord that others don't know. And because there is Christ in you, you have one spirit with him. You can march upon scorpions and dragons and overcome all the powers of the enemy. But none of them shall enemies hurt you because Christ in you is the king of glory. No weapon that fashioned against you shall prosper because Christ in you is the king of glory. You shall lay hand on the sick and the sick shall recover because Christ in you is the king of glory. When others say that it's a casting down, you will say that it's a lift him up. Why? Because Christ in you is the king of glory. You shall move around and you will not get weary because Christ in you is the king of glory. You keep saying this. You keep saying it morning, afternoon and night that Christ in me is the king of glory. You will see that you will not be the way your enemies want you to be. You will not look the way they want you to live because Christ in you is light. So wherever you enter, light enter with you. Wherever you enter, if there is darkness there, light in you. We bring light over there for Christ in me is the king of glory secret of the lord is with them that fear him those that know him those that stand by him those that can be in office and said you see this bribe i cannot take it because that is a secret i have dwelt in that secret place so when you dwell in that secret place they cannot tempt you with a bribe i cannot take bribe i am in the world but not of the world and the woman will come for you to have sex he said no masturbation no and people say how can you cope i used to hear that question how do you cope when you realize that christ in you is the king of righteousness you will begin to leave the bible says, be you holy for the lord your god is holy and you can do it because philippians 4 13 we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us.